In this topic, we're going over addition rule in probability with Venn diagram. So first, what is addition rule? If we have two different events A and B, the addition rule simply states that probability of A or B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. In this case, probability of A and B simply implies that both events happen at the same time. For example, if the probability of A, B, and probability of A and B are given, we want to find probability of A or B. By using the addition rule, we simply do some calculations, and in this case, probability of A or B becomes equal to 0.75. Now let's look at the visual interpretation of A or B and A and B events using Venn diagram. The A or B event simply implies that whatever is inside of A or B or both. But A and B implies only the overlap of A and B, involves only the elements or the outcomes that belongs to A and B at the same time. Now let's look at A only, B only, and not A or B regions using Venn diagram. We draw the circles for the events. We label the events. Now probability of A and B would be the overlap probability of A only will be only the portion of A that is not common with B. And probability of B only will be only the region that is in B but is not sharing with A. And probability of not A or B will be outside of the circles A or B. Now thinking of probability then, once we draw the circles for the events and label them, we start with the overlap. The overlap will be probability of A and B. Probability of A only will be probability of A minus probability of A and B. And the same way, probability of B only will be probability of B minus probability of A and B, the overlap, and probability of not A or B using the complement rule simply is equal to 1 minus probability of A or B. Now let's look at this example. Probability of A is given, probability of B is given, and probability of A and B is also given we want to construct the Venn diagram given this information. So first, we're going to find probability of A only, in this case is 0.3. We find probability of B only, in this case is 0.4. Then we find probability of A or B by using the addition rule, in this case is 0.95. And now we find probability of not A or B by using the complement rule, and we get 0 0.05. Now we're ready to construct a Venn diagram. So we draw the circles. We label the, cir the circles with the events. And we start by doing probability of A and B, then probability of A only, then probability of B only, and then probability of not A or B. 
So we know the Venn diagram is complete if the sum of all the numbers inside of the rectangle become 1, which in this case it is. Now, mutually exclusive events. What are mutually exclusive events? Two events, A and B, are called mutually exclusive or disjoint events if they cannot happen at the same time. And the major property of disjoint events is once two events are mutually exclusive events or disjoint events, then the probability that they do happen at the same time is zero. Now let's look at the visual interpretation of two disjoint events. So basically, the two events, the two circles, they do not overlap. They have nothing in common. So in this example, probability of A is given, probability of B is given, and also we know that A and B are mutually exclusive events, and we want to find probability of A or B. Using the addition rule, we know probability of A and B is zero because they are given to be mutually exclusive events. We apply the rest of the information, and in this case, probability of A or B is 0.8. Now, a survey of 100 randomly selected adults to determine on what day of the week they did not report to work is given below. So if one person is randomly selected from this group, we want to find the following probabilities. Probability that this person is a male. Probability that this person missed work on Friday. Probability that this person is a male and missed work on Friday. And finally, probability that this person is a male or missed work on Friday. Let's begin this uh, solution by finding the total for each category. So we know 34 people missed on Monday, 11 people missed on Tuesday, and so on and so forth. There were 45 females surveyed, and there were 55 males surveyed for a total of 100 people in the survey. Now, probability that the person is a male would be the total number of males, 55, divided by the total number of people in the survey, 100, which is reduced to 11 over 20. Now, probability that this person missed work on Friday would be the number, the total number of people that they missed work on Friday, which is 37, divided by the total number of people in the survey, which is 100. So probability that we, pit, we pick a person and that person missed work on Friday is 37 over 100. Now, probability that this person is a male and missed work on Friday would be 22 over 100. Since there are 22 people that they missed work on Friday that they were also male. So the probability once it's reduced is 11 over 50. And probability that this person was male or missed work on Friday, we're simply going to use the addition rule. First, probability of male plus probability of Friday minus probability of male and Friday. And once we do the calculation, that probability reduces to 7 over 10. I hope this brief lecture helps you understand the addition rule along with how to use it with 
Venn diagram. 